when I came back to New York after I graduated, because my plan was always to go to New York to become an actor. And then I saw a production in Aaron's theater. Aaron Bell uh, over there had a, a great storefront theater called Toto Kanada of God of Vengeance by Shola Mash. And of course, I had read God of Vengeance in Yiddish with Ruth Weiss, so I was very excited to see it in English translation. It was so far removed from the play that he wrote. I was just sitting there in shock. And I saw or imagined, but in my telling, I saw the specter of Sholomash rise up and look at me sitting in the audience. And I heard the words, he didn't say them, but they were, this is what came into my mind. It was, you know, that this is not the play that I wrote. And I was like, whoa, that was, a, that was a big experience. And I, I went to Aaron afterwards and I said, hey, listen, this play that you have in your theater, he didn't direct it, this play that you have in your theater is just not Sholomash's play. And it's, um, it's terrible. And, um, and I complained about it, and I complained. I think we were sitting in Katz's Deli. His theater was around the corner, and I just complained, and I complained, and I complained. And finally he said, please, stop complaining. If you have a problem with it, then translate it yourself. And I said, okay, I'll translate it. And he promised that to help stage it or to direct it if I translate it, so I did it. I worked on it for a year. We had different readings of it, and. Uh, then we ended up producing it at Show World. He had recently taken it over. It was um, Show World is the famous topless bar on 42nd and 8th. And Giuliani was um, mayor then, and he had introduced some new zo zoning laws that you couldn't have adult entertainment close to um, some schools. So. <laughs> So in order to keep the um, video booths, the pornographic video booths going, they had to have cultural, other cultural entertainment in the former, you know, strip stages. So Aaron took over the go-go room, and the first thing that we did was we staged God of Engines, which is a story of a Jewish brothel owner and his attempt to become legitimate and his daughter who he's raising to marry off to a respectable yeshiva scholar sneaks down to the brothel and has a lesbian affair with one of his prostitutes and is eventually run away or is kidnapped by the prostitutes. So all hell breaks loose and the, so the show was a big success. We had great actors, big downtown lifelong artists like Mark Greenfield and Andrea Dario and Shane Baker and Corey Carthew and Verit Hankin, Mercedes McAndrews, Naomi Oates. Um, it was just a fantastic group of it. I was in it. I played Hindel, the head prostitute. And we had, Sholomash audiences are the best because he's such a, a big thinker and he's always asking the big questions and he's controversial. And so we had a real intellectual audience come and then there was a great photo essay in the blade of all these, you know, Yiddish speaking grandmothers with their programs, you know, and then the decor of show world was uh, mirrored and red and clowns. It was, repulsive. So this, and then we, we put the alphabet, the Yiddish alphabet around the go-go stage. So we were really mixing up the sacred and profane in, in a way that turned out to be quite riveting.